What is the greatest lie ever created? What is the most vicious obscenity ever committed upon all life? Totalitarianism? Taxation? Conspiracy? Genocide, perhaps? No. It is the tool with which all that wickedness is created. Fear. The parasite fears that which it does not understand, that which it is not familiar with, that which it has never seen before. And in spite of its curiosity, most outright refuse to understand it and will undoubtedly resort to violence as the solution to all its problems. Like a wild animal, it will act upon instinct and completely shut out all forms of reason, leaving nothing but hatred in its heart. Shoot now, ask questions later, as you may have heard. It is this kind of blasphemous and detestable policy that the human race is notorious for. It is that kind of mentality that has led to the destruction of so many innocent lives. But the parasite is unchanging in all of its wicked ways. It is a disease, a deathly plague spread across the four corners of the earth, contaminating and corrupting everything it touches. Where there were once meadows of beautiful flowers, now you only find desolate wastes, wrought with thorns and thistles, a cacophony of no man's lands cursed by the horrors of plagues and pestilences. Nothing good can ever come from trolling. Only fear. Fear begets anger. Anger begets hatred. Hatred begets suffering. No living being that walks upon God's green earth is without fault. We all have our defects, our fatal flaws that are what makes us all human. But there is no one worse than someone who outright says that they are blameless in everything they do. If they could only see themselves in a mirror, see their true selves, they would turn around and run away screaming in mortal terror. The Paper Hat Society is not perfect. We make mistakes as any man would. But unlike the parasite, we are humble. Untainted by foolish pride as to admit our faults, it is honesty that paves the way for a brighter future. It has been brought to my attention that some users around the internet have gone as far as to steal my content. I should not need to remind each and every follower that a free market ecosystem powered by Creative Commons is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Attribution will be paramount. If I should create something with my own two hands, is it not my right to say that anyone can use it upon the stipulation that you credit the original author? No, says the parasite. When anyone creates anything, it immediately becomes their sole intellectual property, and God help the man that should ever use it without explicit permission. And it is exactly that kind of thinking that caused me to create the Paper Hat Society in the first place. Copyrights are strictly frowned upon by all of us, and anyone who tries to justify them not only are lying to others, but are lying to themselves. They either do not realize or will never admit that they themselves use intellectual property of corporations all the time. In essence, it is the exact same thing. Yet they say only the latter is completely justified. They're nothing more than hypocrites, spreading their philosophical pollution and poisoning the minds of the younger generation. Crazed monarchs that demand the heads of those who threaten their gains with innovation. These dictators, these Jesuits, whose appetite for power is insatiable, whose thirst for submission from the global population can never be quenched. They labor endlessly to achieve their ultimate goal of perpetual copyright. The moment these greedy wretches accomplish this goal is the moment creativity and innovation truly dies. Abolition is the only thing that can save them. A world without copyright laws is the holy grail of a cultural society. 
A society where the artist need not fear the critic, the author need not fear lawsuits, and the average citizen need not fear the howling lynch mobs of copyright. With a little bit of hard work, dedication, and by your right to existence, the Paper Hat Society can become your society as well. Let us all fight for a better tomorrow. I am Noah the Troll Hunting Christian Spy, and I ask you to stay strong and fight against tyranny. That is all.